today we will be doing this beautiful headband on the Addy machine. We are going to start with some waste yarn. This is what you're going to need. Any kind of extra yarn that you have. A pair of scissors you're going to need. Your plastic needle and your takeoff needle. And some beautiful yarn. And the yarn I'm going to use today is Pound of Love. I am going to use this. This is a medium weight four, 100% acrylic, and it's in the color terracotta. And this is by Lion Brand. We are going to take our waist yarn and we are going to loop it around in front of this black needle. And we are going to do four rounds, four rounds of this waist yarn. So remember, when you start on your first row, you'll go front, back, front, back. Take your time and make sure that the yarn falls in the right place properly. And we're almost there. All right, we're back to the front. If your yarn fell in front of this black needle, you are in good shape and you're good to go. So we are going to continue on. We'll open the golden door and then we're going to thread that yarn through. Close the golden door. We are going to do three rows. Two, three, and one more row to pull my yarn. I'm using this Red Heart Super Saver, and I'm actually pulling from the center, just so you all know. Stepping on it. <laughs> okay, and this is our last row. Now that we've come to the end of the row, we are going to cut this yarn just like this. And we will open the golden door and let this fall back just like that. Let me close the door and move it up next. And we are going to reset. Back to zero. I am going to take my pound of love and get a nice long piece of string. Place it right here in front of that black needle. Just move this over a little bit. And I am going to open the golden door, slide the yarn down through the guide, close the golden door. And we are going to start. Make sure you take your time with your first row of your yarn that you picked for your project. And after you do that first row, now you can go as fast as you want. Just go, go, go. We are going to do 85 rounds. I did 81 rounds on the headband and my thumbnail. So I'm going to do 85 so you can see the difference.
wounds, we are going to cut a nice long tail. And let's see, I am going to uh, do, do one about this long. And open your golden door and you are going to pull this and drop it between the white and the black one. And then you're going to take your waist yarn about the same length and that's probably a little bit too much you'll see eventually and then you're going to loop it down here can you all see that in between the golden door close the door and I am going to reset it to four uh, re reset it to zero <laughs> okay here we go nice and slow for the first round Mm -hmm. I hope you guys are enjoying it as much as I am. I am standing on my yarn as I pull extra yarn. So you heard that click. That was the first row. We're on row two now. All right. That's three. Four. Okay, we are going to go ahead and cut a nice little length of tail right here. This is waist yarn, so you will see that we really don't need that much, but I always like to do a little bit of extra. And we are just going to continue around. And as we go around, you will see that, oh, and I wanna show you right here. I have a couple of drop stitches right there. I will be showing you how you can fix these. This is going to fall off. If you notice right here, after you saw the click, it's separating away from the machine. And then you won't have to cast off with the needle. And voila, it's separated from the eddy. Now what you are going to do is pull your project. Just pull it out, stretch it. I'm gonna actually turn it the right side out. You're going to lay your project down. And you're gonna stretch it out. Stretch, stretch, stretch. Now's the time to get your needle. You will need that and also your scissors if they are not nearby. And I shall return. Also, get yourself a crochet hook, get you an H hook, and I'll come back and meet you again. When you're stretching, you re just remember when you have drop stitches like this, you should pull your loops up. And what we're going to do is catch them as we sew or weave in the pieces that I will show you soon. We're gonna go in a zigzag fashion and go all the way across and this, you won't even notice it at all. Now's the time for us to work the ends and close them up. This is the side with the drop stitches, so I will fix those when I get on in that area. So put your crochet hook under here, slide it underneath the next slip stitch. I'm gonna do the next one, come across, slip stitch. Now, if for some reason you don't crochet or you don't have a crochet hook, you don't have to necessarily use a crochet hook. You can not actually use your tapestry needle, your darning needle to do this same concept. So whatever works for you, I just like how this closes up. This is just 
a nice closure technique. So there is no rush with this one. You can go ahead and take your time. And just rotate from one side to the other. And just make sure that you get them all so you don't drop a stitch. And as you go down the row, it'll come together and most of these stitches will pop out at you. So just continue doing this all the way down your project. And I will show you how I close mine at the end. Okay, now we have come to my little drop stitch. So what I'm going to do is just take my hook out of there and I'm going to actually pull these through. So I'll just grab this little piece right here, shimmy my crochet hook into this loop. And just, oops. I need to do it the other way. I thought about this and I said, that's what I'm going to do. I am just going to kind of slip stitch them back together. If you know of another way, just let me know in the comments. I thought this was really neat. I'm like, oh, I think I might do try this and look, see how it's working out. And so what I'll have to do is hold this and slide it right underneath that waist yarn. I'm going to grab this. Let's see. Wait a minute. Find that loop. There we go. Excuse my nails. Okay. And so we're just going to go ahead and slide it. And see, that's, that fixed it. So I have to do this one the same way. And next time, what I'll probably do is just put a stitch marker on it, just to weight it down so that it won't slide anymore. Because if you're a beginner, I would say you need to put something on this to prevent it from coming apart. You might not want to do it my way because you might drop several stitches and then you'll mess up your whole project and then have to do it do it all over again. I wouldn't want you to do that. So now we have to come on to the other side and do this. Just slide it through. Oopsies. Okay, there we go. Sometimes you have to move your project around to get to it. Okay, let me make sure I don't miss anything. Okay, there we go. We're getting close to the next one. Put your crochet hook in there. And then you're gonna turn your project, slide it under that drop stitch right there, slide it under there and pull it through. Pull it up. You see, that's what you're creating. And we have one more, so we'll go into that one. And then we're going to go ahead and slide it. Now, it's done because here's your waist yarn. So what we're going to do is just kind of hold it right there. Slide your crochet hook into your last loop. Just move that waist yarn back. And this is the loop that you created that was dropped previously. See that? And you're just gonna slide it through. And now your work is done. So continue on to the end. Oh, excuse the noise. Somebody's working outside and it's nighttime too, so.
this is what we have created. It looks very nice, very nice. So I'm gonna slide this in, pull it through. And I'm gonna pull this tail through this loop here. And you can thread it back and forth, back and forth. And I'm going to take, this already started coming apart. So I am going to pull the waist yarn off. And if some reason, if your project, you your waist yarn gets stuck on your project, you can cut it so long as you've already secured all of your ends and everything. Okay. All right. Excellent. Uh-oh, see, it got caught up in there. I can feel it. All right. There. Excellent. So this is what you should have. Both of your sides should be done. I got this little extra here. So now we are going to work on creating this. So you wanna know how you do that? You are going to take your project and you take your two ends. You see these two ends here? You're gonna take these two ends and I'm gonna leave this tail out because I can use this to sew it together. So we're going to take them and then we're going to marry them together. Can you all see that? See how I'm grabbing it? So we're going to put this in inside of there. See that? This side goes in the middle and this side goes on the outside. So we got we have this wedged in there just like that and this is what we want to create and we are going to sew it all together so go ahead and if you haven't always already use your tapestry needle you can go ahead and put this on and start sewing okay we're going to go ahead and push this through this end the second one the third and the last one and just whip stitch it around hopefully i made my tail long enough to go all the way across Slide this down a little bit. I got that. Got that yarn working properly. So continue doing this all the way across your project, and then I'll meet you back at the end. Flip it over just like this, and voila, it's all done. The headband's finished. Isn't this gorgeous? Wow. And look, this is what you did to create that. You just did one, one nice woven stitch there, and it's nice and flat, so it's not bulky in any way. And this is the back of it. Isn't this nice? And I love this terracotta. Oh my goodness. This is, a, looks like a soft rose, actually. It is gorgeous. 
But look at that. Oh my goodness, look at that stitch work. Wow, 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 look at that. So this is how the headband is made. Let's see, this was the one that I had in my, for in my thumbnail for my tutorial. And this is what you've created. So I hope this was helpful for you. I hope you really enjoyed doing these headbands. I'm telling you, it's just so much fun. I am having a wonderful time with the adding machine and just doing lots of fun stuff with it. So you enjoy and have a glorious day.